<laughs> I love it. Good evening, everybody. I hope you're ready. If you're new to iRacing, sit back, grab your notepad. Let's learn how to paint, baby. Yassa! already know what it is man tonight we're gonna kick back and we're gonna paint us a car and uh, give a lot of you out there that's been asking around how to paint you know you've had trouble with it or you're new to iRacing you want to get after it you know you want to try to paint because painting a car on iRacing is a huge aspect huge aspect to your enjoyment of iRacing and knowing how to do it just gives you a more love for the game so let's get after it. let's comment on these things right quick auto cruise what's up baby dude Striker James, have fun, man. Thank you, buddy. Tony, let's get it, baby. Brent Patterson, Tim, how you doing, buddy? Josh Frill, whenever you paint it, I'll run my next race, man. Tim for that. Kate Roberts, what is up? All righty, guys. So check it out. We're going to start this up. Um, I will comment, you know, every now and then throughout the uh, the stream. Um, I don't want this to turn into like a four-hour paint job deal. So I will comment on certain things. Appreciate it. Yo, what's up, Clayton Russell? What's up, guys? Paint your car Clemson colors. Nah, I can't do that. I'll lose followers. I will lose followers if I paint clips of colors. Happy little trees. Auto, I tried to do something like that and it didn't work. It's, it it's going to take me more time. We threw this up kind of last minute. It's going to take me a little more time. <laughs> Dennis Bow Jr., what's up, man? I, I might run this car after we do this paint job, Dennis. If it, if it falls at the right time, I might, when we paint this car up, I might run the, uh, I might go run a race, to be honest with you. Uh, we're going to turn off. I'm going to silent the alerts. Joseph, thank you for that like, buddy. Appreciate all the likes. I'll see the likes fall in while we're doing this. Thank you so much. We're going to do this stream a little different tonight. So uh, if you guys got any questions while we're doing things, feel free to jump in and chat. Ask away if there's a question you got while we're going over something and you don't understand it. I'll try to explain it the best I can. But I'm about to show you basically like the easiest. To me, it's the easiest way. To me, it's the easiest way. So first things first. Go ahead, you're gonna pull up your iRacing. Pull up iRacing band. This is what you got right here. All your cars, right? Click my content on the left, click cars right there. So here's your comment right here. Call me, thank you for that light, Big Pimmin. Now we're gonna scroll down tonight. We're gonna paint us the Xfinity Chevy. We're gonna paint the Xfinity Chevy. I don't have an iNation car yet, so we're gonna do an iNation car. Just a base, just a base model. Like we're not gonna do nothing extreme. To kind of confuse you, we'll have another class later on next couple weeks where it's an advanced, like just awesome, crazy stuff. But what we're gonna do, the car's gonna look sick anyway, so I don't care. Sorry, right, man, you should have a car of all things. It's 
Ty Clemson. Yeah, the Chiefs. Yeah, right. Howdy, what's up, baby? All right, so here we go. We're going down to the Xfinity, Chevy Xfinity. We're going to find it. There it is right here. Bam. So you're going to click this little gray button right here. Bam. Click the gray button. Click paint. Boom. All right, so check it out. This is what's going to pull up. Here it is right here. Here's the car that you, you want to paint, right? This is what you want to do. Now hang with me here because this is where it gets a little, this is where you're going to have to do something outside of iRacing, all right? So right here on the right, if you want to go ahead and get a kind of an idea, if you plan on using a color pattern in the uh, in the Photoshop or the GIMP, whichever one you use, if you plan on using the pattern, then definitely I would just try to do this first. Go ahead and use these right here. Choose what colors you might want. So let's do like a blue. Uh, let's do like a, let's do a red. We're just going to kind of go here. We're going to dap it up a little bit, Patrick. You know, dap it up a little bit. You want that detail to show really fine in there. And, you know, you want to maybe throw that white in there. It really brings that texture out. You know, it brings that texture out to the car, bringing that white out, you know. Uh, but then you want to do that there, chat. Now, right here, this button here. So, like, let's say you wanted those colors, white, red, and blue, right? White, red, and blue. Now you click these down here. And you can see little different designs that you can pull up when you're actually painting the car where we're going. We're not staying here to paint. We're going to another spot. Wheels America, what's up, baby? What's up, Cell? Scheme 90. All right, so check it out. Now, this blue button right here says Download Template. Y'all see that right here? Download Template. Bam, we're going to click it. Boom, it's downloaded. All right, so now you're going to go down and find your files folder right here down at the bottom. Down at the bottom, files folder. Boom, we're gonna click on that. Click downloads. There it is right here. Class B 2019 Xfinity Chevy. So boom, now we clicked on that, there we are. Here we are, so I've got it set where my Photoshop opens automatically. Yours will do the same thing. If you use Photoshop, if you use GIMP, it'll open up automatic, all right, automatic. It'll look like this, but I use the zoom, so we're gonna be right here, okay? So y'all can see it pretty good. Appreciate you guys. Hope y'all having a good day, man. Good seeing everybody out there. All right, has anybody lost yet? Basically, you go to iRacing. Click the car you want, right? Well, let me turn that down. Sorry. If y'all couldn't hear me, I'm turning that down. Basically, you're clicking the car you want. You're going to click Download Template right here. Download Template. Download it to your computer. Open it up. Once you open it up, this comes up. Boom. This is what you see. So here's your template. This is where, I mean, you can put anything on here. You can put yourself on the car. You can put a woman on the car. You can do whatever you want, a sausage, a hot dog. I mean, who cares? Whatever you want on this car, you can put it on there and drace it on iRacing, except for politics. I don't think they do politics anymore. So if you put Trump or if you put Biden on there, you're probably going to get the paint banned. You won't be able to race it. Thanks to trading paint, they're starting some new stuff or whatever. So just a little the thing there. Just stay away from politics when you're painting a car. Just like we will. All right, so check it out. First thing we're going to do. So here we are. We're at the spot, right? Now, the spot on the right right here, red, white, blue, right? So here's the red, and here's the blue right here above my head. So uh, there's the reason I put myself right here is because you got that above the head right there. So y'all can see it, easy access. Tim, thank you for the 100 stars. Tim, appreciate that, baby. Yeah, Justin Bieber. Tony put Justin Bieber on his car. Exactly. Tony, if I knew a Justin Bieber song, I'd sing for you, Tony. But I don't. So let's keep on going. All right, so check it out. The only thing you'll need out of this red right here, for beginners, if you're starting painting, you don't need anything else out of this block right here, except for wire. We're going to turn the wire on. Bam. See that? It just turned the wire on over the car. All this right here. So now you can see where your edges are, where to keep your stuff at. Bob Saget, Bo! Bob Saget, yeah, we need a Bob Saget Memorial, right? Bob Saget Memorial. So check it out, that's where your wire is. And then this one right here is number blocks. So if you click number blocks, bam, then your number blocks pop up. It show you on the car where your numbers are gonna be at on the car. Now that's not, if you're using a custom number, you can ignore that. If you're using a custom number, you can ignore that whole thing. Uh, but if you want to use an iRacing number where they just put it on there for you, that's where your numbers are going to be at. Oh, by the way, we're making this scheme. Make sure it has a 7. Oh, trust me, Jeremy. Oh, trust me. It's going to have a 7. You best believe that. Make a race car would be awesome to make Mark Martin. Yeah, man. A lot of people got some Mark Martin schemes. They sure do. 
right, so basically for you beginners, Lonnie, thank you for that light, Lonnie. So for anybody that's new to iRacing, if you're wanting to like, let's say you want to take, we're going to do this. So you can either paint the car like normal. So here's the base. Let's say I want to paint it green. Here we go. We're painting that thing green, right? Boom. We're just going to touch it up a little bit right there. And then, you know, we're going to throw a little, we're going to throw a little blue in there. Little, little zigzags, you know, like this. Boom, 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 boom. So let's say you want to just paint your car and mess around. That's all you got to do right there, right? But that's not what we're doing. That's not what we're doing. But you can do that. If you just want to get on here and paint and see what it looks like, by God, go do it. You know? You did really good with the 18. I did do good, but I, I had to pray about it, and I'm not doing it. I had to have a hard prayer with the good Lord, and he just he, he kept reminding me not to do it. All right, so we're going to use car patterns. So right above my head right here, you see the little mouse cursor right here? So we're going to click on this. Boom. And you're going to click this little arrow. Bam. And scroll down. Now here, iRacing gives you all of these car patterns, okay? iRacing gives you all these patterns for you to use. So if you start clicking these eyeballs, that's what I call them, little eyeballs, because that's what they look like. Now you're going to start seeing patterns. So boom, there's one. There's one. There's one. There's another. So you got all different patterns, right? So we're just going to keep going through this. Boom. This is the one we're actually going to use right here today. So what we're going to do is, this is the one we're going to use. Now, you're going to click and hold this and drag it to the top. Drag it to the top, just like that. All the way. Put it right above car patterns, let go, bam, we're there. Close car patterns back, turn it off. All right, we're going to turn that off. So here's our pattern. This is what we're going to do, all right? Now, let's say you guys wanted to just throw like a, y'all found a wallpaper on the internet and you wanted to make it the car, right? So I'm going to show you an example of what I'm talking about. Let's go here. Let's go to place embedded. And we're just going to do something crazy. Let's go down to my pictures. I already took all the porn and stuff off, so y'all are not going to see anything good on here. If y'all thought y'all were going to see anything good, you're not going to see it on here. Um, But pretty much, so let's take this one for instance. Boom. Let's rotate this clockwise. Right, I'm going to make this as big as I can. This is just a picture off the internet, literally. Just a wallpaper off the internet. So you could drag it and put it over the car like that. Here, let me exit out a little bit. Just like that, all right? So now, if I go save this, let me move this down. We'll keep it right there. That's about even. No, nah, we'll do it. We'll do it like We'll make it a little bit bigger. All right, so let's say that's what your car wants to look like, right? Let's say this is what you're looking for. If you want to look at it without having to put it out on the track and race it, you're going to go up to File, right here, File in the top left corner, Save As. You're going to go down here and click Targa, Targa File, boom. Then we're going to go to Documents. Now, you might need to write this down because it's the same process every single time you save. Same single process. If you need to write this down, write it down. So documents. Then you're going to click iRacing right here. Now we're going to click paint. So this is where like if you're putting the setup in, same spot. So now you click paint. And now we're going to find the Xfinity Chevrolet. And that is right here. Stock Cars 2 Camaro 2019. 2019. Curtis, appreciate the light. Curtis, you man, buddy. So let's click on that. I got it. Now we're going to save it as car underscore your iRacing number. So for instance, mine is car underscore 507795, right? Did I put that in right? Nope. 7795. And then you always, this will pop up right here. You always want to do 32 pixels, always 32 pixels, and compress RLE. I don't know what RLE is. I don't know what it means. So if somebody's out there and can enlighten me what that is, I have no idea. I just know that it works, and that's what I do. And that's the thing. Let me go ahead and clarify. I am not the genius. I don't know jack about everything. I just know how to do it. That's how I did high school. You know what I'm saying? I just know how to do it. I know how to get through it. Just like with my wife in the bed. I just know how to get to it and get it done. So let's go on to the next step. So there we go. We got it saved right there. I need a punch and ask you 87 Thunderbird. Hey, hey. PJ, I'll get you one. Give me about, give me a couple weeks. Give me a couple weeks. We'll get you one ready for the season. Ready for the new season. All right, so check it out. We saved that 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 paint right here, right? All right, so here we go. We're going back. Boom, look at this. Look at that. Now look at our car in iRacing. 
Now our car in iRacing looks just like that wallpaper that I put on the car. So if you're the type that want to make it easy and you just want to grab a picture off of uh, in the internet and just throw it over the car, that's exactly how you do it. That's all you got to do. You just throw it over the car, save it. There it is, bam, it's done. Look at that. That's what your car will look like right there. If you want to do it. Sometimes you can find a sick one. I've used this method a couple of times and it's dirty. Uh, it looks nasty. Hey, Ricky Gant, what's up, man? How you doing, buddy? Trying to teach a little painting, baby. All right, so th that's not what we're doing. This is not our style. This is not what we're going for tonight. Man, that car ugly. It is, Kevin. That's why it's an example. Example. <laughs> All right, anyways, here we go. So now we're going back to Photoshop. So like I said, if you're wanting to take a picture off the internet and throw it on the car, that's exactly what you do. So that step, that's the easiest step right there. And you can go run that thing all day if you want. Throw you some sponsor on it. Have a good time. Tony, thank you for the 1,200 stars, brother. God bless you, brother. That means a lot to me, Tony. 100 stars for an SR logo on the side. Ah, I can't do it. I don't have one. And don't send me one. <laughs> this is my iNation car. It's got to be iNation. iNation. The Chevy part saves the whole design. Yeah, it sure does. It sure does, bud. What's up, man? He said the Chevy part. <laughs> you know I would never race anything else, bud. All right, so we're going to knock that off. So exit that, right? Boom. All right, now we're back to our original paint. This is what we're going to originally do is this here. So I just wanted to show you all that, how you can just take the internet picture, throw it over the car, and have it do its thing, right? Richie Joplin, what's up, brother? Good seeing you, baby. If I wasn't going to Charlotte tomorrow, I'd run the uh, next gens with the, or the old, old school 87s. All right, so like I said, we're going to do our iNation paint scheme. iNation paint scheme. If you don't see it, check it out on Facebook, iNation Station. Go follow it. It's a group where everybody, if you win a race, throw a picture up in there if you win in a race. So you're burnout. That's what that group's for, celebrations of iRacing. So be sure to go check that out. Better not make Cliff Scar. Kevin, you know me. I'm not doing that. I already did that, though. It is pretty bad. It looks awesome. All right, so first thing we want to do, we want to make sure. Let's go here. I'm going to do this. So you want to click on the left-hand side. You should have a paint bucket set up, right? Have a paint bucket set up right here. PJ, thank you for the 200 stars, baby. God bless you, brother. Now, all this red on here, we're going to make it white. Since we're using a car pattern, once you click the red, everything red will turn white since we got it set for white over here. All right, so don't forget that. It's right here. So, boom, we're clicking it. Bam, there it is. So now that part of the car is white just like we want it. All right, just like we want it. Now, where that blue is, we're going to make it red. Okay, so we're going to click on the white block. Right here, you're going to click on this white block. Bam. We're going to scroll up. We're going to hit that red. Boom. Just like that. Brent, thank you for the followage, buddy. Now, everything blue, you're going to click on it with your paint bucket. Everything blue, click on it with the paint bucket. Bam. Right here. Bam. Bam. Just like this. Same old, same old. I'm not the fastest at this. Sometimes it does take me a while. And we are winging this, so I'm not sure what this is going to turn out. I just kind of had an idea. We're going to flow with it. Alan, what's up, buddy? How you doing, Alan? Good to see anybody. All right, so everything that was blue is now red, chat. Everything that was blue is now red. Now, remember, this, this scheme is if you want to use the car patterns. You don't have to use the car pattern. You don't have to use the car pattern. Please remember that. You do not have to use the car pattern. Once again, you do not have to use the car pattern. That is just the way I, I'm going to do it tonight. Um, like I said, you can get on there and paint anything you want. Always remember that. Keep an open mind on iRacing. You can paint anything you want, except politics and except pornography, please. We got young kids out there playing iRacing. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and place my main logo on the hood. All right? We're going to go ahead and place our main logo on the hood So I because I want to get the blue, so that way all the blue matches on the car. We're going to place the main, uh, place the main logo there now. So you go to file in the top left. Like I said, this is Photoshop. Get maybe a little different. That's down the road. We'll do a GIMP session later. So right here, you can go to Place Embedded. You press Fly out and then click Place Embedded. I said Fly out. Sorry, guys. So I'm going to click it. We're all. This is all of our stuff we're going to try to put on the car. Not all of it, but most of it. Okay? Ed Dorbus, JP Moore, thank you for the lights, guys. What's up? Hey, nice, Ed. Y'all be careful, brother. Be careful, big dog. All right, we got our main... 
We've got our main, um, yep, right there. Here's our main logo, right? I Nation. This is our main logo. Like I said, the group is on Facebook. Be sure to go join it. If you're an iRacer, post all your wins, your celebrations. That's what that group is for, celebrations. Some of the iRacing groups got a little too toxic. A little too toxic. So I'm going to let it be about that big. We spread it out. There's like a green line right here. I don't know if y'all can see that. Yeah, y'all can. Y'all see right here where this green line is? That is like the perfect marker on an Xfinity car. It's like the perfect marker. That's where you want to level it up at and center it up. Right here. This part right here. It does. It's about to change it. I'm about to change it. Stay, Curtis. Thank you for the 1,800 stars. Curtis, let's go. Let's go. Dude, I got so crunk right there. My necklace hit my tooth right there. I think I chipped my tooth. <laughs> All right, let's back out. Boom. Let me make sure it's centered up. Let's make sure this is centered up. So we're going to click the little crosshairs right here in the top left. I'm going to click back on my picture. And I'm going to use my directional keys to make it center. Just like that. Just like that. I mean, we're going to go with that. That may be too big, but we can change it later if it's too big. We can fix that. So I'm not worried about it right now. Oh, yeah, I got it now. There it is. That's, that's center. That's center. And now it's not. Now, like I said, when you guys first start doing this, dude, it's going to be so aggravating. You're going to want to quit, I'm telling you. Because it's aggravating sometimes. But once you get the hang of it, you're going to love it when you get the hang of it. Everyone smash that like and follow. Thank you, Otto. Let's go. That would be cool to do 38 on my racer car. That would be cool. All right, so our main logo is on the car, right? So now, now I'm going to take this little, we call I call it a little paint sipper, right? So you're going to click on this. The eyedropper tool, and I'm gonna click it on the blue on my main logo. Why? Because I want the blue on the car to match my logo, right? You want everything to match on your car and make it look good. If you want 50 shades of blue, that's fine. If you want 50 shades of gray, that's fine. Just remember what I said earlier and don't put certain things on the car. All right, so here we are. We're gonna click on that. Bam, now I got my blue set over here. So now we do paint bucket. Let's hit the blue. Let's go back over here. You gotta make sure your pattern's highlighted right here above my head. Here's our pattern. Now let's hit that blue up. Oh yeah, let's hit that blue up. Nice and fresh. Let's hit that blue up. Everything green, we're hitting blue. Everything green, we're hitting blue. Now get used to Control Z. If you need to remove something that you messed up, just hit Control Z and it'll remove it. And you, know, you can start, it's like starting over basically. I had to teach myself what you could have done this sooner. Tony, I'm going to show you some spec maps, though. I'm going to show you how to throw some chrome on that car. But yeah, we're going to get you some chrome on them Jordans. We're going to get you some chrome on them Jordans, baby. <laughs> Much better. Yeah. All right, that's done. Let's see. Uh, more green right here. We got more green on the bumper. Appreciate you guys joining in and watching. If you really need to learn how to paint, I'm serious. If you just... If you need to go back and watch this video, the first couple steps, super easy process. Super easy process, I'm telling you. And once you do it four, three or four times, Tony, you can tell them, it gets a lot easier, buddy. It gets a lot easier. Yeah, she's getting there. She's getting there. I Nation, baby. It's not I Racing. It's an I Nation car. Check it out on Facebook. All right, next thing we're going to do, I'm going to turn this wire off so now the car looks fresh, right? Now I'm going to go right here above my head and I'm going to click color change logos. What color change logos are, that's your Goodyear emblems on the car. That's your Camaro emblem on the front. That's whatever like sponsor of the car. So Chevy, Ford, Toyota, Goodyear, that's what you're looking for, right? So I'm going to double click on this because it's easier. Double click on color change logos. Boom, double click. And we're going to make it red. Bam. So it's red already. So now my Goodyear and my Camaro emblems are red, right? So that's what we got. If you click your color, the color picker will show you automatically. Yep, it sure does. And then, so check it out. So now, if you leave that up, we're going to go back down, click on the color pattern again, and then take your paintbrush right here. Now, I'm going to get that white. So we know what red we're going to use. Let's just switch to only the red. Don't switch to the blue. So now, we're going to paint over the Camaro right here at the top. Or see where I'm at up here at the top? I'm just going to paint over it because I racing when you use car patterns, that color stays behind there. 
See, now, now since we did that, that Camaro looks clean. Like, it doesn't have the red and the blotched holes in the opening. So that's what makes that look a lot better right there. What did Lonnie say? Chrome Beaver? Yeah, get a Chrome Beaver car. That's right. That's right. Same thing for the Goodyears right here. So we're going to paint over it white. But since you've clicked on the car patterns, it's going to paint behind it. It's not going to paint on top of it. It's going to paint behind it. So now I'm going to show you an example. So let's zoom in, right? Let's zoom in on the Goodyear. Here we are right here. You see how the O's are filled in with red? Y'all see that? So now we're going to paint over it white, right? Watch this. Wow, there it goes. Y'all see that? Let me show you one more time. Boom, look at that. So it's all red because of the color pattern, the, the car pattern of the car. So now you swipe it, bam, 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 bam. That's gone. One more time. Boom, 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 boom. That's how you get that detail because you got to. If you're using a car pattern, you're going to have to do that or they will look bad the whole time. So just remember that. Let's scroll down to the next one. Go down to the next good year because it's going to be the same as that way right here. Watch it again right here. Watch it change. Boom, the freshness. The freshness. And I just noticed something we got fixed too right here. Bam. Donna, you know what makes it crawl? Not the crawl pipes. Not the crawl pipes. I believe it. I heard it's called Justin. All right, so that is it on that. So check it out. We're going to save it, and we're going to go see what it looks like right now, the way it looks, all right? So does anybody remember how to save the car once it's already... So just look at it in iRacing. I'm a, that's good. That's fine, because I'm going to tell you, right? So you're going to file, save as, and it should pop up automatically, but you're going to go to Documents, iRacing, Paint. Then you're going to go to... Camaro 2019. Stock cars to Camaro 2019. Right here. Change it to a target file. And save it as car underscore your iRacing number. Just like I did. Car underscore iRacing number. Car underscore 507795. That's my number. And remember, 32 bits. Never forget it. 32 bits. Never forget it. Supposed to be 29 by midnight. Get loud. Now, Brent never thought about making one of those, buddy. So now if we check out the car, this is what we got right now. This is what our car looks like right now. Let me check the hood. The hood's what I was worried about. Oh, we can get by with that. Yeah, we can get by with that. That's our car right here for the moment. This is what we're rocking with. All right. Ryan McDaniel, thank you for the 2,000 stars, Bubba. Thank you, Ryan. God bless you, dude. You're the man, brother. You're the man. 10 for that auto. 10 for that auto. So this is what we got right now, chat. Looking good. The Goodyear looks good on the car. Oh, yeah, that Goodyear looking fresh. The Camaro looking fresh. The scheme. We got the scheme down. It's looking good. I don't blame you, Justin. I'd go to the motel, too. All right, let's hit it back. Here we go. Let's go back to Photoshop now. Now, back in the day, you couldn't do that. Back in the day, you couldn't just save it and look in iRacing until they updated it where you could do that. You had to, like, go into an actual live session and see your paint there. It really sucked. It took a lot longer. It took a lot longer. PJ, thank you for the 500 stars, brother. You mad, baby. You mad, baby. Yes, sir. How's the music, chat? Y'all can hear the music pretty good? Does everything sound pretty good? I'm not, I'm not, the music ain't louder than my voice. Is everything good? All right, next thing up, over here on the right above my head, check it out. You got this section right here called Car Decal. Car Decal, and yes, it is exactly what it sounds like. It is exactly what it sounds like. Bob Carroll with the light. Thank you, buddy. I thought that said Bob Ross. I was about to die laughing. All right, so we're going to click Car Decal. We're going to click the eraser over here on the left. Right here's the eraser. And we're going to erase all these decals. So this one here, we're erasing this one. We're going to erase this Xfinity sticker. We're going to erase. Actually, we'll leave the Xfinity sticker. No, we won't. No, we won't. We're erasing the Xfinity sticker. Hey, Kevin. Appreciate it, buddy. So here's another logo. We're erasing this because I like to put my own logos. I always put my own logos on here. You can ask my guys. That's just what we do. We're going to take these Simpsons and all this off. Actually, I might leave those on there. We're going to leave Simpson and Sunoco. We're going to leave those two up there on the front bumper. But basically, you got to click car decal to start erasing, right? Start erasing. 
Alright, next up is now we're going to start throwing some decals on it. Alright, we're going to start throwing some decals on here. Uh, let's see here on the back. We're going to start on the back left. We're going to start on the back left. Kevin, I can only imagine what you just put. I can only imagine what you just put, Kevin. <laughs> Alright, we're going to click car pattern again so everything will stack above it. Alright, you want your layers. Layers. GIMP, Photoshop's all about layers. So you want to stack. Stack it over on this top box above me, okay? So let's go to File, Place Embedded. We're going to go to New Folder, my folder where I got all my stuff. Here's all the stuff we're going to put on here. So we're going to start with this. Before long, this might look like a Buffalo Bills car if you're a Buffalo Bills fan out there. Sorry, not sorry for anybody else. All right, so we're going to slap this bad boy right here. Try to make it as big as you can, but you got to be careful. You don't want the top to roll over. You always, that's why every time we put a decal on, we're going to check it and make sure it looks good. Jeremy Edwards, thanks for the light, buddy. Appreciate it, Jeremy. So let's scoot it over a touch. So we'll scoot it over, make it a little bit bigger. Just a little bit bigger. I think that's big enough. That should be good right there. Now I'm just going to check it right quick because I'm OCD. Definitely because I'm OCD, I'm just going to check it right fast. I'm going to quiz y'all at the end, make sure you know how to save this stuff. Because if you don't know how to save it, you ain't going to be able to paint it. Buffalo Bills, Richie. Buffalo Bills. All right, there we go. So there it is on the side. So now we got I Nation on the side, right? I Nation. There, there it is. There it is. I probably could come down a touch, but you don't want it to be... I'm all about detail. You don't want it to be too far down, right? You don't want it to be too far down. All right, so now we got that put there. So now we're going to work on these decals right here. Let's turn the wire back on. Yes, sir, Brent. Have a good one, buddy. I appreciate you, big dog. Now, on the left side of the car, you got to always be careful of the gas cap. Remember the gas cap. Everybody repeat with me. Remember the gas cap. Please remember the gas cap. Because if you just start throwing decals on there, the gas cap's going to cover it up. You're screwed. So this is a Bills card. Just put a football upright in there somewhere. Oh! Oh, snap! Oh! Burn! Richie, burn! Bills, baby! Let's go, Eric! <laughs> hey, anytime, Eric. Anytime, buddy. All right, so now I'm going to slap. Since we put I Nation on one side, we're going to put it on the other side, right? So here we are. It's upright like it should be, right? No. You got to flip it upside down because it's the left side of the car. So you're going to right click on the image, right click, hit rotate 180 degrees. Rotate 180 degrees. Bam. There it is. Now let's zoom in a little bit because I need y'all to see this. All right. Right here, you see this green circle? This is why you want to use the wire. This is why you want to use the wire. That green circle right there, that is your gas cap. So it's going to be green on Xfinity. Some cars you can actually change. Some cars you can actually change the gas cap color. Xfinity and certain other ones you can't do. Actually, Xfinity we might be able to do. I have to try it. So now we're going to move this over, and i got to adjust it to that. So we're going to drop it down a little bit. Keep it off that gas cap. Now this line right here above it, I know y'all see that. If you go past that line, it's going to be under the wheel well. All right, so your your decal will be underneath that wheel well, and you won't be able to see it on the car. Make sure you stay above the green line. If you're not using the wire, you're doing it wrong. I'm telling you, definitely helps you out. Now, because I'm OCD, I'm going to stretch it as much as I can. Okay, we're going to stretch this as much as we can. That should be good. Yep, that's good. All right, that's good. We got that level, that level. All right, now we're going to throw our quarter panel sponsors on. All right, now we're going to throw the quarter panel sponsors on. And like I said, Chad, this is a beginner paint right here. This is just something you should be able to open up a template, throw color on it, throw you some sponsors on it, ready to go. All right, this is not an advanced paint by no means. Not an advanced paint by no means. All right, here we go. We're going to throw this a quarter panel. And I don't know how I'm going to do my quarter panel. I'm winging this, to be honest with you. So I'm not really sure how I'm going to do this yet. 
You'll see me a lot too. I always look back at the car like this just to kind of see how the car looks, like the room it's giving me, you know, the room it's giving me. So let's do this. Let's go here. Place embedded. You want to put a sponsor on there, place embedded. Now you have to pull out whatever you got saved. Now later on in the program, I'm going to show you how to make your own, like your name or like a company, you know, make your own little logo. We're going to go over that in Google Slides. It's so easy, dude. When I put my name over the door, we're going to put Nowski Nation over the door. You know, like cursive. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's super easy. All right, so first things first, we're going to get our Nowski Vision emblem. Let's go. Appreciate you watching Nowski Vision. Thank you so much. Let's get it. Nowski Nation emblem. Now remember the sponsor block, you want to make it a little bit smaller. You know, it's not supposed to be big. These sponsor blocks are supposed to be a little small. But it's your car. It's your what's Bob Ross say? It's your car. It's your painting. You don't know what's gonna be on there, only you're gonna put stuff on there. So it's all about you, what you want on there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put Nowski Vision right here. About level right, well, come down a little bit. We're going to try to level it up with the rise right here. Bam, so we got Nowski Vision on there. It looks weird because I got the wire on there. When we take the wire off, it'll look better, okay? So now we're going to go back to File, Place Embedded. Beat that in your mind. Beat it in your mind. File, Place Embedded. File, Place Embedded. Same process every time. We're going to find a Facebook Live emblem right here. Bam. Make it small. <clears throat> Now we're going to try to make it the same size, maybe not the same size, but a little bit. I'm going to put that right in the middle. So Nowski Vision, then you got Facebook Live on the side, bam, just like that. So that's what we got right there, boom. Nowski Vision, Facebook Live, that's our sponsor block so far. I don't like how close it is to the number, so we're going to move it over a little bit. Bump this over. Let's bring it about like that. That's good. That's good right there. Said every guy everywhere. What are y'all talking about? Bill stuff still? Y'all still talking about the Bill stuff? <laughs> All right, next sponsor. Let's see. Maybe not a sponsor. We got. We could do like a. You know, let's give old track time some love. Let's throw some track time entertainment on this car. Track Time Entertainment, they're the sponsor for my rig that I race in every day. Thank you so much. Put that right there. Slap that on there. Place embedded again. My favorite part is going to be towards the end. So if you got something to do before we get to the end, I'm telling you, come back. Because when we spec this out, we're going to chrome it and make the white matte. It's going to be sick. It's going to be sick, dude. So y'all better be back for that spec map once we do this part. We're almost done with the actual paint before we spec it, so we ain't got much longer. All right, so next one I want is, let's do a, you know, we'll just make it easy. Let's throw a Logitech emblem on there. How about that? Let's throw a good old Logi on there. Y'all do throw a Logi. Anybody out there run Logitech? Who out there runs a Logitech? Any Logitech? Wheels, pedals, mouse, keyboard. Is there a way to mirror the sides to get the decals in the same location? So, Otto, when you do this right here, hold up. I'm going to show you an example, Otto. <coughs> oh, God. <coughs> Sorry, guys. <coughs> this is why I don't teach class in real life. Shit. All right, there's my Logitech emblem right here, right? We're done with that. Now, while the Logitech emblem's up, I'm gonna make it red and blue, okay? Because I'm a color coordinator. I like I like color, co color coordinating things. So we're gonna make the G part red, and we're gonna make the, the Logitech G, the backside blue, just like that. How about that, you like that? Oh yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm going to move the uh, track time over a little bit. Yeah, let's move that over, give it a little bit more spacing. And then we're just going to throw a little skull underneath, and I'm going to show Otto what I'm talking about, that the mirror, the mirror deal. 
Now, Otto, the way that I know, it's it's not really mirroring. You still have to basically, you still have to pull it. You still have to place it in the spot. But these pink lines, I'm about to show you what I'm talking about. These pink lines pop up on the screen. The pink lines pop up on the screen and they basically, they basically show you where, when you're like at the same spot the other one is, if that makes sense. All right, that side's done. This side's done. Yeah, we're done with this side, all right? So, Otto, watch this. We're going to back out right here. Now, I don't need... What's up, Aaron? How you doing, buddy? I'm going to turn this wire off now. Just like that. Let's save it right quick, and let's look at it before we try to do the other side and make it look the exact same way. So, save. Save as. Documents. iRacing. Paint. Pick the car. We're in the, the we're in the Xfinity, so stock cars two, Camaro nineteen. Targa, car underscore five zero zero seven seven five. My IRS number. It'd be your IRS number if you're doing it. Boom, so this is what we got right now. This is what our car looks like on one side. Just like that. I could probably move the this stuff out right here down, but I kinda like it. We'll leave it. We'll just leave it as that. This is just something we're trying to get done. But this is what we got. Now we're going to try to implement that on this side, right? This is what Otto is talking about. Can we mirror it? So this is how, this is the way that I know to do it. So we're going to go back here. So the first one we need is the Nowski vision, right? So let's do this. Um, but if you do that, you can duplicate... And that's a lot to do for just one side. Well, Ricky, you don't have to do all that. I'm just OCD, and I like to throw so much on my cars. So I'm trying to give you all, like, a good feel. I'm trying to give you a really good feel of what all you can do. Because they, I mean, it, you can do a lot. You can definitely do a lot, Ricky. <laughs> all right, so first things first. Now, you got to remember, certain things on the other side. So let's go here, file. Place embedded, new folder. I need the Nowski vision, right? Boom, yep. All right, so we're going to flip this, right click, rotate 180 degrees, right? So here we go. So we're doing this. So we're going to try to make it the same size. So what I do, Otto, I zoom in like that until I can see both sides, right? Now, since... I did like where it's like Nowski Vision and then Facebook Live like that. Bradley Shaw, what's up, buddy? That's going to have to be flopped around. So that part, I can't really mirror it, except for this line right here, Otto. So you see those pink lines that just popped up? So right there, I'm center where the... Oh, shoot. I'm center where it needs to be at, right there. So those pink lines that are lining it up, now we're lined up right there. Well, Kevin, if you duplicate them, how do you flip it upside down? Well, I know you can duplicate it, but how do you flip it upside down? Because you gotta, you gotta make it a reverse image because it's on the other side of the car now. You see what I'm saying? Like, I know we can duplicate the image, but once you do that, you gotta flip it to make it, to make it match on the other side. All right. Anyways, here we go. So pretty much now, we're going to do this. Let's bump it up. I'm going to keep it right here where it's center. So, Kevin, I'm going to do it this way. So it's an easier, basically, if guys, if they want to choose what they can, uh, that could be on like an advanced session we do down the road because that's there's more to it than just that. Because watch this. If I click the Facebook Live right here, I hit Duplicate. Duplicate layer, yeah, duplicate, boom, full color, we'll do that. Now if I move it, it doesn't let you rotate it once it is already, once you already have it placed, now we can't rotate it. It's not letting me rotate it now. I'm advanced too, I just want to show them the easy way so they understand it. Basically, if you just take it and place it, that's, that's all we're doing right now, just taking stuff and placing it. We're not doing any crazy stuff. I must have thrown my logo on there. I hear you on that, brother. I hear you on that, big dog. 
All right, here we go. So now we're going to throw the Facebook Live. It looks like that one I made it a little smaller because we got a little off, off course there. So let's throw the other one on here. Let's go here. Rotate it, flip it upside down, wham, bam. And like I said, chat, this is the way that I do it. You guys don't have to do it the way I do it, but this is how I do it. So I just want, I just want that to be known out there. That's good. That's good. All right, so now we're going to place that there. Looks like it's about the same size as the other side, which is good. Now let's throw the Facebook Live back on that side right here. Anybody have anything exciting today? Who's winning the, uh, who's winning the, what you call it, the 24-hour? Who's out there winning that thing? Line it up, make it center with the other. Bam, we're center right there. Yeah, we're going to bring it over this way a little bit. Hey, Adam, thank you for the 100 stars, brother. Appreciate those 100 stars, big dog. It means a lot to me, brother. Thank you so much. Yeah, we had it a little close. I'll take it. We'll take it right there. That's fine. All right, next victim. Let me just throw these in here. We'll check it out make sure it looks good. Then we're going to work on the back, and then we're done with the car. Okay, and then I'm going to show you how to throw a spec map on it, okay? Not Jimmy Johnson. <laughs> Where are they at? Did they wreck yet? Or did he wreck? Please tell me he didn't wreck, Otto. Please tell me he didn't wreck, bro. Please tell me he did not wreck. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Jimmy, boy. Oh, Jimmy. Poor, that poor sap. That poor sap, brother. Somebody wrecked hard. I don't know who it was. Oh, they're four. <laughs> I did see somebody with their whole back end. Their whole back end was fell out. I did see somebody with their whole back end fell out. We are almost done with this paint, chat. We are almost done with this paint. As far as like putting stuff on it, and then we're going to spec it. I'm going to take a little time on the spec because I want to show you all a lot of different things. I know that some people said the spec is the part they really want to know how to do. I've watched so many YouTube videos on painting, and those guys on YouTube really make it seem hard, at least the ones that I watch. Dude, it's not. You paint it green, you paint it green, or you paint it red, you paint it light red, that's it. Then you save it as a car spec. Like That's all it is. All there is to it. What is DPI? I, I was looking at that earlier. What does DPI even mean? I don't even know what DPI even means. Or disconnected, yeah. <laughs> disconnected due to impact, yeah. Packet loss, amen to that. We know all too much about that, brother. We know all too much about that. Unfortunately, we do. Oh, the prototype car. See, I didn't, I didn't, I was lost when they showed that. I haven't got to really see that yet. I haven't got to really see that yet. I didn't even know they were doing another one. All right, chat, one last logo. Well, the, this side will be just like the other side, okay? Now, like I said, certain times that you put certain logos there, it will not always look the same. You will have to switch logos in their place to make it match to make it look right when you're reading left to right. Because that's what it's about. If you got logos that's got letters on it, you gotta remember left to right. Left to right. All right, let's save it up, make sure we're good. Actually, no, we're going to work on the back right quick before we save it up again. That's good. That's good. That's good. She's looking good, chat. Looking good. All right, let's zoom in on the back. What I use to zoom is control, equation, like the equal sign plus symbol. That's what I use.
Nice, Kevin. Nice. What y'all doing down there on vacation? All right, remember, place embedded. Place embedded. Now we're going to choose our iNation symbol again right here. Boom. I'm going to throw an iNation right here, and then I'm going to throw the emblem on top of it, okay? So I want to make it sit right up here on that blue. We're going to set it right on top of that blue. Right on top of that blue, chat. Hey, Scotty, what's up, buddy? Scotty too hotty. Yes, I do. I do, Scotty. Yeah, I got a mirror to that way when you're on the track and you see the left side of the car, it looks matched up. We're about to I'm about to show you what it looks like. We're gonna save it and look at it on iRacing. On one side, Nowski is closest to Goodyear. Yeah, so the reason I had to do that, check it out, Scotty. Check it out, Bubba. Hold up. All right, so yeah, you see the emblems right here? That emblem, and then this emblem down here? So it says Nowski Vision Facebook Live. So on the other side, when you're looking at it, the driver's side, when you look at the driver's side, you got to have the Nowski Vision on this side and then the Facebook Live. on That way you're reading it left to right. That way, when you read it, it's still left to right. Now, Ski Vision, Facebook Live. You see what I'm saying? So, like, the right side of the car, it'll be now Ski Vision, Facebook Live. The left side of the car, it'll be now Ski Vision, Facebook Live. That makes sense. I'll show you what I'm talking about when I pull it up. Mickey Mouse, son! Now, I always turn the number block here. So, in the red boxes right here, click number block. Number block. So here's your number block on the right side. So that's going to be there, okay? So we'll put something on this side to give it a little even out. Uh, let's see. Let's pull a... Uh... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Scotty, yes. Yeah, Scotty, yes. Yep, you got it, brother. You got it, Scotty. This is like one of my first classes. So give me a little break. Give me a little break. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to throw another little Nowski Vision emblem on the left. I'm not going to make it too big. We're going to sit it right here. I'm going to try to make it match the number on the right side. Okay? So this number right here, we're going to try to make it match. Donnie, wait until we spec it, bro. Wait until we spec it. It's going to be sick. I haven't spent red and blue together. I've never specked it together. Hey, Patty, let's go, baby. All right, so now we're going to throw the Nowski Nation emblem, not the Nowski Nation emblem, the iNation emblem above the iNation right here, okay? So I have to show you all this right quick because I didn't do it yet. We're going to hit open. Then I'm going to open the iNation symbol. Here it is. Here's our iNation symbol that I created a while back. We're going to erase iNation. That way we just have the emblem. It looks like, what's the, what flag is overseas it looks like? I don't even know. Ryan, that's why I'm doing it this way. You can go back and watch it. You can go back and watch it, Ryan. <laughs> There's a lot to it. There really is a lot to it if you want to put a bunch of stuff on it. But if you want to just throw a black car, like paint a car black and run it, I mean, it's super easy. Let me erase it right here. I can't wait to see what you're going to make, Ryan. I can't wait to see it. Pat, man, I already know Pat. He's going to make some sick ones now. He already made one the other day and sent me a picture. I was kind of jelly. Kind of jelly of it. Uh, yes, sir, I know. We're going to do chrome. We're going to do matte. And then we're going to do like a... It's like a metallic matte chrome. It's crazy. I can't wait to show you that one. It's wild. But the car, what we're going to do... Here, let me erase this iNation right quick. Hold on. Let me erase this part. All right, there's my new little emblem without iNation under it, so I can use it all over the place. So we're going to do save as. So auto, basically for Chrome, you paint it red, 
for for uh, matte, you paint it green, and then for like that metallic matte chrome look, you paint it like a light red. And then when you save it in your file, you do car underscore spec underscore your your iRacing number. All right, so let's go put this emblem on the back now. I can't wait to show y'all though. Let's get it. I can't wait to show you. I was gonna do the original, you know, orange, black, and white paint scheme, but I was like, let's try something off the wall tonight. All right, here we go. We are putting this emblem on the top right here. Try to even it up so it looks even. This little green area right here, that's the camera on the back of the spoiler. Okay, that's the camera on the back of the spoiler. All right, good deal. The back's done. Back is done. Let's save it and let's look at it right quick before we start specking this bad boy. Let's spec it right quick. And then, well, let me turn the number blocks off, number block off. I about forgot. Y'all about let me forget. We're missing the main important, important ingredient on the back. We are missing the main ingredient, chat. Hold on. Oh yeah, we got y'all know we got y'all know this is Nasty Nation, man. We gotta throw a yassa on the tailpipe, baby. All the time, layers of crap to the program is what I find confusing. I, that's why I was saying earlier, if you click your base paint or you click your car pattern, and then every time you add something, you just leave the right side alone. This area right here, Scotty, just leave this alone right here, buddy, and it'll just stack by itself, and you don't have to worry about it. Unless you want to make like an image and then throw a something over that image and then something over that to give it some more look, that's layering. You don't, I don't really mess with that too much. I mean, we could do it, but I see what you're saying. The layering part, it's just like really painting on a canvas, Bob Ross style, you know? He starts with the back and then he like does the stuff that comes out. It's crazy. Layers are crazy. Justin Swafford, what's up, buddy? What's up, Justin? All right, let's take this yeso right here, boom. Let's rotate it around. I'll slap this on the back right here. We're gonna make it big though. I'm not gonna play games with this one. We'll go with that, that's big enough. All right, so that's done, right? So now we're done, let's turn the wire off. Let's save it, let's go look at it, and then let's spec it. Let's save it, look at it, spec it. Save as. Save as documents, iRacing. You know the sky and the mountains and the happy little trees. <laughs> it's so true. I know I actually watched a video yesterday of Bob Ross and it was hilarious, dude. That guy is awesome. He really is. He's awesome. He is awesome. All right, there's our one side of the car. Here's the other side of the car. Uh-oh, look at that. We need to back the I Nation up just a little bit. We're going to have to back it up just a touch. Keep that in. Well, I mean, I guess it don't look too bad. Now, we'll leave it because I don't want to lose the size of the I Nation. We could probably scoot it a little closer, but we're going to leave it. And then there's the back of the car right here. Look how she's looking, boys. And then there's the Yassa on the back. Yassa! Let's go. All right, y'all ready to spec her out? Let's spec her out. Let's get it spec'd out right quick. All right, so now we're gonna go hit spoilers right here. So that's all your black stuff right here. Now on each template you do, each race car template, the spoilers are in different spots, so you have to find them, okay? In this case, they're all right here. So click spoilers. Let's go back and see the spoiler, they're black. So I'm gonna make my spoilers red. We're gonna make the spoilers red, okay? So let's take our paint, take our red. Grab our paintbrush. You can use paintbrush or you can do whatever you want. We're gonna paint them red right here, boom, painting them red. Same red too, remember, always use the same colors. You don't want different, you don't want different colors all over the place. Spoilers are red now, that's perfect. Now we're gonna click tape, tape right here. 
We're going to click it on and off until I find the tape. I don't know where the tape is. Hold on. There's the tape right here. We're going to make the tape red also. Okay, the tape's going to be red also. Uh -oh. All right, roll bar color. We're going to do the roll bar red just because I like the red. It's pretty sick. So we're going to do the roll bar red. And that's in this bottom left-hand corner. If y'all never knew where the roll bar is, they're in the bottom left-hand corner right here. I'm going to zoom in on it so you can see it really good. I appreciate all of you sticking around and watching today, man. It means a lot to me. All right, this top left block right there. Y'all see that? Y'all see this down here? The left one is your roll bar. I already painted it red, so you just want to paint that. Red, blue, black, whatever you want to do, okay? Pit box colors, we're going to do red and blue, right? So we already got red on one. So let's make the other one blue. Pit spot colors red, blue. Let me click on roll bar color again. Make it red. All right, now we're going to do the pit board. This is your pit board. It's always underneath the back right tire. They never knew where the roll bar was. Let's go, Pat. Let's go. All right. The pit board's right here. So this blue box is always your pit board. So we're going to make it. I'm going to do white because the white looks better. Or you can see it better on the track, in my opinion. Going down pit road, you can see that white one. It's like, you know, the bright yellow. If you do a bright yellow one, you can see it really good. So we'll just do that. And then we'll place, uh, I'm going to throw an image on it. Let's go find our image we had earlier. And we're going to throw this image on our pit board. Now, anytime you throw an image on the pit board, this is what we was talking about layering. Earlier, we were talking about yet layering. So right here, you want to make sure whatever you're putting on your pit board is above pit board in this spot. So you see how my image is above pit board right here? So here's pit board. Pit board right here. There's my image above it. Make sure it's always above it. So that's what our pit board should look like right there. What is the yellow block? Auto, the yellow block is for like, um, the yellow block is like license. It's got something to do with your license. Basically, you know how you get in like an ARCA race and the back bumper is like yellow or, or orange or blue or green? That's what that's got to do with. I've never found a way to paint that, so there's there's not a way to paint it. But I've never seen it either. I've never seen it painted either, if that makes sense. That's just like these right here, Otto. You see these right here? The red, the yellow. Here, let me get it over a little bit. Yeah, this red, yellow, red, yellow. I always just make these whatever my combination is for my car. I always just make it that. So we're going to do blue, red, blue, red, blue. This has got something to do with like tape on the car or certain little rookie stripe. Yeah, it could be a rookie stripe. Uh, they got this has also got something to do with like inside the car. Like you might have certain detail on the car that is going to be red or blue now. So I haven't figured out what these are yet. So all right, let me think. Let me make sure everything's done. Spoilers are done. Color change logos are done. Everything's done. We'll save it one last time. Oh, we're going. Uh-oh. Ah, this is important. This is important. This is important. On this part, you want to click car decal, right? Y'all see this black box right here? I just made it red. That is when you're inside your car, right? You're inside the car. Here's your shifter. If you look to the right, you know where that name plate is? It shows your number and it shows your name. This box right here, that's what that is, okay? So we're going to throw something on there and see if you can see it in the car. Only thing now is an 03 on it. Shoot, bro. Shoot. Wait, we'll put one on it when we go test it. We're going to go test it and see what it looks like on the track. So I'm going to find an image to put over this block right here. And then when we're in the car, you should see that image. Let's find us an image right quick. Place embedded. 
Let's just do like this right here. Just for just for giggles. We're gonna see if this works. Let's see if this works, chat. We're gonna do that, then I'm gonna erase this, alright? We're gonna erase this. Now that should that should be what our little name banner in the car looks like is an American flag with your name on it. It's what it should look like. So we're going to test it. We're going to test it out. All right, let's save it one last time before we spec her up, baby. Let's save it one more time, then we're going to spec it. I can't wait for y'all. This is my favorite part. I've been waiting on this part. Y'all made me go through all this. Now I'm ready to get to the spec and let's go. All right, you're saving it for the last time. So you're going to save it twice, all right? Save it twice. First, you're going to save documents. Eye racing, paint, Xfinity, so it'd be the stock cars too, Camaro to 2019. Targa, go down here, change it to Targa. We're gonna change this car underscore your eye racing number. Boom. 32, never forget, 32. Now we're gonna save it one more time. Documents, eye racing, paint. Stock cars, Xfinity, Targa. Now, now you're going to save it as what your name is. So whatever you want to name this paint, you want to save it as that for trading paints. That's what we're going to use for trading paints, okay? So you're going to save it twice when you're done with just the paint, the way the paint looks, okay? Boom, so car underscore 507795. That's your iRacer number, which is mine. Now I'm going to save it as iNation paint scheme. I nation paint scheme. Save. 32 bits. Boom. All right. Now we got it saved twice, right? So now the car is saved twice. Let's try one more thing right quick before I... Okay, never mind. You can't do it. You can't do it. Actually, you can. Oh, you can do it. I'm going to paint the gas cap. One second. This right here on Xfinity, you can actually paint the gas cap on Xfinity. So I'm painting it red. We're going to have it red, so... Let me save it one last time. Like the truck and the NASCAR next gens, I know you cannot paint the gas cap. Then we're going to spec her up. Let's go. Hope y'all excited about this part. This is my favorite part. This is also a good time for me to take a little bait break. Just a little bait break. Okay, hey, we're going to go run Nashville, or we're going to go run New Hampshire Xfinity with this paint scheme when we're done. So, y'all just get ready. We're going to break this thing in right. I'll right, say one last look at it. There it is. You see our roll bars are red now inside the car, but they're not chrome yet. We're going to make them chrome. All right. So, that's one side of the car. We're going to turn to the back. Looking good. Looking good. Now the gas cap's red. That worked out perfect. That's looking good. Perfect. Now you can change these decals here. We just didn't do it. But you just put, you erase them, put the decal there. Place embedded, put your decal there if you want something there. This is what she looks like, base, just regular. Now you can run it just like this. You don't have to spec map this. You do not have to spec map that. You can run it exactly the way it sits. Exactly the way it sits. You can run it just like that. But we're going to spec map it because that's just the way I like to do it. Chrome and bad for sure, Martin. You got it, baby. Let's go. Kevin Bernheimer. What's up, Kev? How you doing, baby? All right, chat. Let's check it out. So I'm going to do a little quick tutorial just on each one to show you what they look like before I do what we're actually going to do to the car, okay? All right. So basically, you have everything saved to their own file, right? So everything's saved, everything's good, okay? So now, let's say you want to chrome this whole thing out. All of it, every bit of it, every last bit of it. You're going to take this red, it's already red, and I'm going to make my paintbrush huge, right? I wish, I wish, Aaron. You got me excited right there, Aaron. And I'm going to paint this whole thing red. Everything. I'm painting everything red. This is if you want your whole entire car to be red. Kind of like Otto's Bud Light car, how the whole thing is chrome. This is how you do it right here. 
All right, so boom. This is not how we're going to do our car. I just want to show you what it looks like. So there we go. My spec map's done, right? This is for all Chrome. So now, let's go to File, Save As, Documents. Y'all know this by now. I've said it a hundred times. iRacing, Paint, Xfinity, Mustang, or Camaro, so 2019, Targa. All right, now right here, to save as a spec map, you do car, underscore, spec, underscore, and then your iRacing number. So mine is 507795. And then you save it. 32 bits, just like that. It's saved. It's done, right? So now you go back to iRacing, just so you can see what it looks like. That's what we got. Check it out. That's what we got. Here, let me see if I can get a bigger picture of this. Hold up. Let me see if I can get a bigger picture of that so y'all can see it better. I want y'all to really see this chrome the way it looks. Does it have to be a certain shade of red? So, Pat, if you want it to be chromed out like this, all the way chrome, where it turns the white to an absolute chrome, Jeff Sinclair, what's up, buddy? It has to be the dark red. So, like, the lightest, darkest red you can do. Not dark, dark red, but, like, light. I'll show you. Hold on one second. But this is what we got when you do it that dark red. I mean, she looks mean like that. I would race it like that. I really would. I would drive it just like this the way it is. But that's what I love about spec maps. You can change it anytime, right? That does look wild, don't it, Tony? That thing looks wild, don't it? So, Pat, check it out. The red is, if you're looking at your color wheel, Pat. Ah, oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? So, if you're looking at your color wheel right here, Patty, you want to pick the highest, the lightest one, and the darkest shade. You see what I'm saying? So, like, we're all the way at the top right corner. This red right here, we're all the way in the top right corner. If that if that kind of gives you a little a little sense of what I'm saying. I am Jeff. Show a little show a little couple things I know. I learned from the hood. <laughs> now, Patty, if you go with the light red like this right here, if you go with the red like this where it's lighter, now look what it does to the car. So we picked the lighter shade. We picked the lighter shade right there. Let's paint over it again. See how it's changing color? Is that lighter red? This is where it gets buck wild. This is where it gets buck wild. Start again, Jeff! Oh! Now save it again, just like normal. Targa, documents, iRacing, paint, Camaro 2019. Then you just click this car underscore spec underscore your, your iRacing number. Now, check out what this car looks like now. So, you had the shiny chrome, right? This is that this is that metallic matte color I was talking about, okay? Now, you got this. You see how it looks smooth? It's not like a shiny chrome. It's like a shiny metallic matte. Y'all know that next-gen car we got? The Nowski Nation car that's silver? That's how I spec this, that one. That's how I spec that car. So it looks like this. It looks like brush chrome, yes. It looks like brush chrome. I mean, it looks dirty. I don't like how the top though looks kind of dark. You see how it looks kind of dark up there? Yeah, it's definitely a total of difference. But now what we're gonna do is, oh, let me show you the matte. Let me show you the matte color. Now let's say you wanna make it just a matte, just a straight matte, right? M-A-T-T-E. We're gonna go to the brightest green you can find. Brightest green right here. So that's what your green needs to look like every time. This one right here. Paint over it. Just a bright John Deere green is what I call it. You wanna paint it John Deere green. What does white or black do? So, Jacob, white actually makes it like it turns white into a heavy dark gray. It just makes it look like a, a like almost like a coloring book. It's wild. Yeah, the shiny chrome looks good. Save. I haven't done, I think black keeps it the same, Jacob. Black just keeps it the same if you do a black on a spec. It don't really change it. Documents, iRacing, paint. 
Now that's what it looks like when you paint it green and spec it, right? It's just a matte color. Boom. Now that makes that white really look mean. It makes that blue look mean, but it doesn't. It's not shiny or nothing. It gives it that just mean matte colored look, which is what we're going to kind of go with for the white. So I'm going to show you what what we're going to go do, guys. We're going to do. We're going to take it to the next level since I showed you the basic, right? Showed you the basic. We're going to make the red and the blue, okay? The red and the blue, we're going to chrome it, and we're going to leave the white a matte white. So we're going to chrome this and leave the white a matte color, all right? That's the goal. That is the goal. Let's try it. Let's see what it looks like. And we... if. If we do it, we might even make the logos. We might even make those chrome too. I do specs different. I go into the spec lab. See, I haven't heard that. I heard somebody else talking about spec lab. I've never, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's control Z. All right, we're going to take our paint bucket. Let's get our red that we want and chrome it out. We already got our green, right? All right, so now I'm going to make all the white green, right? So all I got to do is click this, boom. It's not what you got to click, sorry. I got you, Jacob, I got you. So we're going to click car patterns right here. Now click on the white. All the white is going to be green, bam. All the white's green, right? Now everything that's already red, you do not have to hit it. You do not have to make it red. Everything that's red, you don't have to make red, okay? The other thing we're going to make green is this American flag that's going to be inside the car because I don't want it I don't want it to be chrome because it won't look right, okay? So let's spec it. We're going to make it a matte color. But I should have paid you to Beaver theme. I'll change my name on Discord. It's Justin Bieber. <laughs> Tony, you awesome, dude. You awesome, brother. Paint this. Let me get this painted. All right, she painted. So that's done. So all my matte colors are done so far because I don't know if I'm going to do the logos matte yet or just leave them the same, okay? So now everything that's red that you see red, you're just going to leave it red because we want it to be chrome. We want the red to be chrome, okay? Jacob, I like this way because you can like individually do it. It's weird. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it your way one day though and see how I like that. So let's switch back to the red. Go back to car map. Right here, car pattern. Get your paint bucket back out. Hit all the blue. All your blue, you're gonna hit it. Ah, oh, come on. What y'all talking about, Tony? Almost done, chat. Then we're going to go race this thing. Almost done, and we're going to go race it, baby. The other way is more difficult to explain. <laughs> Jay, we'll get together one day, and you kind of tell me. No! All right, now check it out right quick. If you want your roll bars to be chrome. This doesn't matter if you got green roll bars, if you got white roll bars, if you got yellow, orange roll bars. You go down to that block on a spec map now. On a spec map. Right here, there's the roll bar block again, right? Click roll bar over here. Spec it red. You want the roll bar to be red if you want chrome roll, chrome roll bars. No matter what color you have, you can chrome those roll bars out. Remember that. It looks sick. I know y'all seen some of my trucks and stuff. They've got it. Yes, sir, Otto. We're going to see what it looks like. I'm thinking about specking them. We're, we're probably going to spec our... Uh, we're probably going to spec them on this car. At least I'm, I'm thinking we're going to. That's done. That's done. That's done. 
That's all done. The tape's done. Yes, sir, Martin. Yeah, man. Any any roll bar you do, any color roll bar, you just spec it red, dude. Just spec it red, and you're ready to go. Yeah, give it a shot, Jacob. All right, let's see what it looks like. Spec this way without it, without it being uh, without the decals being spec. Let's check it out. I have a feeling our numbers in the middle may be like a, maybe like a chrome. It might throw the whole thing off. Let's try it, which is fine. I'm cool with that. You want it to look wild. You want it to look different. It's basically what I'm getting at. You want it to look. Okay, I'm, yeah, I'm going to have to spec them out. Yeah, I'm going to spec the stuff on the top, like the decals. We're going to spec that out. Yeah, we're going to spec all the decals. But y'all see how, like, you got the red and the blue chrome, and then the white is a matte color? That's what we're going for. That's what we're going for. The white is matte. Like, it's, it's so the chrome, the red and the blue is chromed out, and the white is a matte color. Nice, Lonnie. Nice. Let's go. All right, let's go spec the decals. Let's go spec the decals. We got to go spec those. Let's go spec them out. And then we'll be done. We'll be ready to take her on the track, baby. Yeah, let's go. Oh, this is going to look dirty, boys. Yeah, I know you can't make it look like that in an actual decal. Yeah. All right. So the way I do it is you can either click on them and just paint them yourself. Or you can double click on the image like I'm going to do here. Just double click, color overlay, red. So you want to color overlay them red or you can paint them red, your decals. So that's what I was telling y'all earlier. Basically, it's all about if you want it to be chrome, you paint it red. If you want it to be a matte color, you paint it green. Same, It's the same concept for the whole thing. Y'all just give me a second while I'm uh, doing this right quick. It's gonna take me a second. Need a little bait break. You need to change the white on the hood for the spec? Yeah, that's what I'm doing now. That's what I'm doing now, Jake. Yeah, that white right here in this logo is what made it look like that. Look, it looked crazy. I, I'm glad you seen it. I'm glad you seen that. That's what the gray, or that's when you spec it white without a spec. That's what it looks like, Jacob. It turns that white to like that dark, gloomy gray. It looks crazy. Almost there. Almost there with all the decals. Yeah, anytime you save the file as a spec map, it literally makes the decals and stuff that you didn't make red or green, whatever color is on that stuff, it specs it as that color and whatever it does to the color, that's what happens. So like when you have something white on a spec map, it looks like a gloomy, dark, thunderous day, like a gray cloud. It looks crazy, which I'm going to play around with those one day and do like a light blue and stuff to see what they give me. So all the decals, I'm just going up this list right here, double clicking on it, hitting cover over, color overlay, making it red. Because I want all the decals to be chrome also. So now if you do a custom number, we didn't do a custom number on this car, we're just doing an iRacing number. But if you do a custom number on the car, then you can make it chrome or make it matte. If you chrome out the area on a spec map and use eye racing, if you do eye racing numbers and you have that area where the numbers go in chrome, your number is going to be chrome. Same way with the mat. If you have that area matte, it's going to make that number matte. That's right, Lottie. That's right. Dark, gloomy, just freaking sad. You better wear your black. We all racing black paints that day, baby. <laughs> Well, I appreciate y'all joining me on this uh, little, little paint. I can't wait to make a post and say thank you, everybody, who stuck around and watched this paint this bad mamma jamma. Let's go. 
Almost done. Almost done. We're going to try to see if the... I don't know if the pit board will, will spec map. We're going to try it, though. I want to see if it'll spec map. Anytime, Tony. I can't wait to see you run it at New Hampshire, baby. I'm going to try to run it there tonight. We're going to try to race it at New Hampshire after I'm done with this. Uh, yes, sir, Lonnie. Photoshop button. I'm going to try to do a GIMP one. I don't use GIMP much, but I'm going to try to do a GIMP one. Spoilers already red. Ch color change logos are red. Anything that's already red as a decal, you don't have to paint it. Y'all just remember that. American flag, we're going to leave that. We're good. We're good with that. All right, let's spec it. Let's go run this thing. I had to call out McCann on the podcast this morning. Oh, Kevin! Kevin! Yeah, Martin, I see. When I, the first time I used it, it is it is basically the same. It just some of the stuff does look different. Like how you have to load the file or whatever. I don't, I still don't know how to do that. How you have to load the file. See if I can do this right quick. One second. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. We don't make it. I'm going to see if this actually works, what I'm trying to do. I'll let you know if it works. From a torrent side? I've never heard that. That sounds wild. That sounds wild. All right. Let's save our final spec. Let's go look at it. Let's go run it. Let's go see what it looks like. Let's go see what it looks like on the track, chat. One last time to save it. Downloads, documents, iRacing, paint in your documents, iRacing, paint, and then whatever paint your car, whatever car you're painting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go. There she is. The white is a matte color. Everything else is chrome. This ought to look fresh. This ought to look fresh on the track. What rim color should we go with, Chet? What red color? Should we go with a chrome or should we go with like a... What y'all thinking? Jeff, I'm going to jump on the New Hampshire with the Xfinity. I don't know if I'll race it yet, but we're, that's where we're going. Should we go red comb? Still gray on the logo on the hood? I'm in a hurry to watch the roll bar and dash. I know, Martin. I'm almost done. I'm coming. We're going. We're going. Let's just go with the white. Let's go with white or chrome. Let's chrome the wheels out. I can't wait to put it out there. I can't wait to put it out. Let me change that to a mat on the logo. No, Otto. So when I chrome that decal, I've got to go back and unchrome it. And uh, only chrome the red, blue, and the, the I nation. Well, anytime you chrome or try to put red on white, it turns it to chrome. Like actual, the real chrome. Let me change that right quick. And we're just going to go with the basic. Uh... Yeah, we're just going to do the matte. We'll just do the matte wheels. Yeah, we'll go with the matte wheels. Actually, no. Let's go with... Uh... Yeah, let's chrome the wheels out. All right, let's save that design, and then let's go back right quick. Let me fix one thing. That's the same with that logo right there. It did the same thing. All right, one second. That, none, this. There it is.
Can I do light pink for the logo on the hood? Yeah, you can. If you do it, it makes it like that smooth graphic. Makes like a smooth, what you call it? Wait till we put it on the track, chat. Wait till we get it on the track, boys. One second, I gotta fix this right quick, chat. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just started pressing stuff. One second. Where's it at? Right, hold on one second, guys. One second. I got to see where I finished off that. There it is. There we go. Just like that, Otto. Red, red, red. Like this red. Yeah, we're going to put this thing on the track. Adam, thank you for the 100 stars, Adam. Appreciate it, brother. Almost there, boys. Almost there. Appreciate everybody who stuck around, man. You guys, you guys mean a lot to me. Thank you so much. Now, the one thing I can say, sometimes your color will not work out on a night, a night race. I don't know why, but sometimes during a night race, the chrome looks way darker than what it should be. So y'all just remember that sometimes certain cars you do, if you run a lot of night races, just kind of do a lot of test trials to make sure it's going to look right, if that makes sense. Almost done, almost done. Then we go jump on the track, see what this bad boy looks like. Gotta get it, you know I me, mean? I gotta get a picture of that thing. Yep, that's good. Pit board. Pit board, we're gonna try this on the pit board, just see if it works. I wonder if they would let our pit crew, I wonder if they would be like chromed out, the pit crew. Y'all think the pit crew would be chromed out? That would be sick, wouldn't it? Roll bars already red. Tapes already red. I have two different spec maps for my Bud Light cars now. Matt for night. Nice, Auto. Nice. That's what I was about to say. If you guys can, make you a spec for chrome for day race. Make you a spec map for matte color for night races. And you can do it in trading paints. You can set it up. Auto knows what I'm talking about. You can set it up where you're running the spec for the night race for matte and daytime. So I need Photoshop and Trader Paints Pro. Uh, yes, sir, Alani. Or you can use GIMP. GIMP's free. A lot of people don't do this Photoshop because it pays like 20 bucks a month, but it's definitely worth it. Definitely worth it, in my opinion. We do this right quick, boys. Almost done. Almost done. What a great song to end this on. Here, I'm getting in the real nitty gritty right quick because I want this. I want a lot of people to race this car, so I'm gonna fix this part. That's good. That's good. Um. Ah, shoot. These are your cameras right here. Should have painted those red. I don't have pro, but I do paints. You can still upload. You definitely can. Yes. Now I'm going to click car mandatory. I'm going to see if it makes my headlights and stuff, if it makes it matte. We're going to go with that. Okay. See if this works. I think it does. We're going to try it. All right, let's make sure everything's good to go. That's good, that's good, that's good. Perfect. Let's save it. Let's go run it, boys. Let's go run this bad boy. Let's go. Documents. One last time. Documents. I racing. Paint. 
Stock Car Camaro 2019. Matt Ferguson with the like. Thank you so much, Matt. What's up, Big Pimpin'? There it is. Look at that. There it is. Much better. Much better with the chrome, too. Now, that looks way better on the top with the hood. Way better on the hood. All right, so everything's saved. We got our this file saved to see it on iRacing. You got the file saved for trading paints, and you got your spec map saved. Let's go to trading paints. Time to go to trading paints. Hey, I appreciate it, man. Martin, yes, sir, baby. Let's go run this thing, man. Let's see what it looks like. All right, so you're going to open up your trading paints. Well, I'm glad no pornography popped up. Sorry, guys. I didn't even check that. <laughs> All right, here's trading paints. So now we're going to click. I want to. I don't want to upload it yet, right? So I want to race it on the track first and look at it, make sure everything is good before you hit upload. So you're going to click on my paints, my paints, click on it. We're going to go down to the Xfinity car, NASCAR Xfinity Chevy Camaro. Didn't know if you knew this, but when you're session, you can go to the car's paint folder, pull it up anyone's paint. Let's say reality paint, you can grab it and make it. Yeah, definitely. That's what I heard. I heard you could do that because there's one paint I know, Jacob, that I really want, that I really want to take. <laughs> It put Nowski Nation on it, but <laughs> we need to talk about that. I need to figure out how to do that exactly. All right, so now you're going to Documents, iRacing, Paint. Find that file, which is in, uh, okay, there it is. All righty. iNation Paint Scheme. Bam, load it up. Now, this is not uploading the paint to Trading Paints. That is not what this is. We haven't done that yet. We're just putting it on our My Paints. That's all we're doing. Putting it on my paints. So there it is. Just load it up. Now let's go race it. Be fixed. Let's go. Why not? Let's go run to be fixed. I'm going to run a few laps, take a picture of it, and then we're going to save it. We're going to save it to the, uh, what you call it? Actually, sorry. Let me do this. We're going to do something different. You can do it in a session. Everyone's paint shows up in that folder. Dude, that's epic. That's epic. Yeah, we're going to look into that. Ah, I got you. Got you. <laughs> that's crazy. I did not know you could do that. Dude, I had no idea. You just blew my mind with that. You seriously just blew my mind. Someone did a knock. Yeah, I know exactly. I wonder if that's what that was. Double click it says, I'll open in Photoshop. If you don't know the person's ID number, you have to go through them all. Oh, I got you, got you, got you. That's still wild. I did not know you could do that. All right, let's go run a few laps right quick. Let's go run a few laps, get a picture of it, get a quick picture, and then let's jump into the session. Let's go race this thing. Let's go race this thing. I'm pumped now, boys. I am pumped now. Let's go. Appreciate you guys sticking around helping me do this. Hope you guys learned something from it. You know, if it was one thing, great. If it was the whole thing, great. That's why we did it, man. Just throwing little tips out there. We all should be helping each other on iRacing. That's what it's all about, helping each other out. All right, we got to make this quick so we get to the session and practice. We got to make this quick so we can practice. I don't want to get into the session where all the cars are because I want to be able to take a clean picture of this car. You like it, Otto? 
I should, man. We need to figure out some other stuff we can do. Also, like little lessons and stuff. It hit off pretty good. We had about 25 to 30 people for a long time. Appreciate you putting this up. Definitely helped learn those specs and a few other things. Heck yeah, Patty! Now, some cars, some cars, the roll bars will not crawl. Some cars, the roll bars will not chrome out. Yeah, there it is, Otto. That'd be epic. I would love that, Otto. Take a couple laps, let's take some pictures. Amen to that, Kevin. Amen, Kevin. You dang right we can. <laughs> You're exactly right about that, Bubba. Hey, it did. Check it out. Yeah. Scotty, it sure did, didn't it? Check it out, chat. Our, our nameplate, the nameplate where we put that American flag. Check it out. It worked. Let me get a field of view up. Check it out down there. Y'all see it? Ah! Y'all can't see it because of my thing. Yeah, the nameplate is an American flag. Let's go. It worked. It worked. Let's go, chat. That's great. That's great. All right, let's take a quick picture of this bad boy right quick, chat. See, I need to get a wall side. Wall side. Back it up. Might not have been the best place to do this one. I did. The whole whiteboard is chromed out. Yes. Let's take that picture right quick. Appreciate it, Richie. Richie, I'm doing your truck next. Your truck's the next one I got to do. Thank you, Kevin. Appreciate you, Bubba. Trying to find a good shot of it. I want a good shot. It's hard to get a good shot with Chrome. It really is hard to get a good shot with Chrome. Especially on top of the car. You see how it looks kind of blackish on where the red is? One more picture, chat. One more picture. Then we're going to go race this thing. Y'all see how chrome that red tape is? Look at that red tape. That red tape is chromed out, baby.
Oh, there it was, there it was. Oh! One second, let me get this picture. I want to get it the way I like it. There it is, there it is. That's it, that's the picture right there. That's the picture right there, boys. All right, we got our picture saved, so now we can exit out. Let's go upload it to Trade and Paint, super easy. Now you can go up here to the top right. Come on now, why are you, what is this? There it is, upload. Yes, sir, Matt. Let's go, buddy. Now you find your paint, I Nation Paint Scheme. Add spec map layer right here. So now we're going to click on a MIP. You have to drive around the track with your spec map first to get that. You have to do it or you won't get a MIP. MIP is what it's called. Community, tell us about your vehicle. Xfinity, Chevrolet, Camaro, I Nation Paint Scheme. Budge's Paint Class. Now this stuff down here, you can get pretty, you know, if you want to get crazy with it, you can. Let's take, uh, let's get the picture in there. Where's it at? Picture, picture. There's that one. And then let's put one more in there. Yes, sir. Let's go, boys. Number five. I really don't care. It doesn't really bother me what I put in here. We'll do white, red, blue. Rim color, red, boom. You don't really have to do this part, but a lot of people like it. All right, add paint to showroom. It's good. So let's go join that session. Let's go run that Xfinity race, chat. And there it is. There she is, boys. But that's it. That's how you paint. That's a basic beginner's paint job right there. That's easy. Well, it's a lot of stuff to learn, but you can do that right now super quick, super simple. You really can do it. I know you all can. I was doing the B class Xfinity race. Let's go race, boys. Let's do it. Y'all give me one second. I'm gonna go fill my water up. We'll be right back, chat. Give me one second. Uh, join. Give me one second, be right back while this loads up. Alrighty, let's go. Let's get back into our race sesh.
me turn some of this stuff off. Starting to overload the thing a little bit. About time for the fireworks. What time does that start, Kevin? What time does that start, brother? Yeah, because I want to watch that. Ten. Ah. Oh. I hear you on that, Richie. Ten, four, ten, four, ten. You guys hear me? <laughs> That's funny, Richie. <laughs> Dang, I kind of want to do that now. I kind of want to watch the fireworks instead of race this. Commercial free. Hey, John Michael. I'm gonna get my son to pull it up. I'm not either. I'm officially retired for good. <laughs> John Michael. John Michael. John Michael! One second, chat. I'm about to yell. John Michael! Get in my laptop. No, you ain't. You ain't selling all your stuff. You ain't selling all your stuff, bro. I'm clear. I'm clear. I'm clear. Michael. Yeah, I got a copy. Michael. Michael. My son don't listen worth the crap, dude. Michael. My laptop is right there. I right, open it up. Is anything pulled up? All right, so swipe up. That's uh, yeah. You got a copy on me. Yeah, I got a copy. Yeah, I, got I copy. know it. I know he is. He definitely said. <laughs> For some reason, Colton, I cannot they hear you. They definitely get buddy. tired of me asking them to do stuff. I can hear you. I can hear Colton. That's just small. One nine nine zero. Yeah, I got a copy. Yeah, I got a copy. Yep, leave it on there. Straighten it up right here so I can see it here. All right, I got it pulled up now, Kevin. I got it pulled up on the laptop. I'm going to take a chance to run a 12 to 1. We're going to run a 12 to 1 ratio. Rowdy Ronda Rousey, baby. Maybe yes, it'll be better to try it again. You hear that? Oh shit! Boy, the woman rumble! Nice, Ricky! Nice! Nice, Ricky! I forgot the Royal Rumble's on tonight! Yeah, I forgot that I was even playing tonight! That's awesome! God says there are man servants, but not really, but only good. <laughs> Amen to that, Joseph. Amen to that. And you're just chilling there. Where's part two of the Rolex? Hey, when does part two of the Rolex? When is part two of the Rolex coming on? Aaron Brill, thanks okay, for the I 500 stars, Aaron. Uh, 20. I try to get like a side drop in my bad. Appreciate that, buddy. I hear you now, Colton. 
Yeah, I don't see it. Is it does it come on at 10, Kevin? I it's on Peacock? On it, it's on Peacock, Kevin? I don't uh, see it on there. So you got me loud and clear now. Yep. Yep. Sounds good. Thank y'all. It's on Peacock. Yeah, I'm on Peacock right now. It's only showing me part one. God, I wish I wasn't so bad at driving mild paper clips. Hold on, let me, let me fix this. Let me fix this. I'm still trying to figure out how this, uh, what, a five car, I think? It's just... Colton, you gotta chill out, man. You're, you're, you're being ridiculous. Yeah, let me try to find part two. You come up the pitch. Immediately try to get people in the Let me try to find part two. Yeah, let's get that fixed because I want to see that. Featured, featured. Come on, featured. Sorry, 11. I got way too Got it. There. Got part two. I got it. I got it. You're fine. Yep, I got it. Thank you, guys. Appreciate the chat. If I hadn't caught it, you would have not. Well, they got that out. nice session, Otto. That was me and Otto out there at night. Me, Otto, and Dean. Were you a little bit high? Running that night shift. I was so high, I, I, I could no longer see daylight. Don't forget to burn the Yeah, I'm gonna run a 12 to 1 this race, see if we can make it happen, boys. I just think it's gonna be a wreck fest. It was, Dean, it was awesome, brother. It was awesome, Dean. Nice, Kevin, nice. Hey, next year we should run a GT3. Next year let's run a GT3 and see if we can do it. There's a lot of surprise entries in the Rumble Punch. Is there, Ricky? Nice, Chelsea, nice. That's awesome, Chelsea. Has Lonnie been racing high racing at all? I'm retired, boy. <laughs> Sorry, Kevin. <laughs> oh, I got wow. that Verizon car, bro. You're running that Verizon car, you better. Five guys in the BMW? Yeah. I think we're going to try a GT3 next year, maybe. Just to see the difference. Or maybe have a second team of GT3. something <laughs> he's probably downloading photoshop spending money he wants to paint some cars now we gotta make him a reaper car we gotta make him a reaper machine does when you can paint whatever you want on it, it just gives you a whole new love all right 
Hot chat, let's go. Let's go join the races. We might run a 12, 14 to 1. Yeah, we're probably going to run 14 to 1. I think the 12 to 1 is just going to kill us. I think it's going to kill us on the tires, to be honest with you. I mean, I made nails. <laughs> That's right, that's right. Can anybody tell me how many likes the stream has? Can anybody see how many likes my stream's got? If y'all don't mind telling me. I make nail colors, so might as well paint cars. That's right. run this thing man let's see what the first race first race 62 i'll take it for a paint stream i'll take 62 for a paint stream thank you chelsea thank you robert yeah i'll take that for a little paint stream got some good stars tonight too man thank you so much everybody Yeah, I didn't expect, like, the last few streams we've done, we've gotten over 100 likes. But, I mean, that's all racing. So, for to do a little paint stream, I appreciate all y'all's support. Seriously. I appreciate everybody's support. There's the fireworks show, boys. The fireworks show at the Rolex is happening. I wish I could race and there was a fireworks show. Why didn't I race and put that in? Why did I race and not give us a fireworks show during our race? I'm seeing it in the corner of my eye. It looks good. It looks real good. They did on, on, on purpose. They gave us that sausage curve on purpose, bro. They said, you know what? We're going to mess these guys up. This car guys i'm telling y'all the red white and blue is getting me going it's getting me going boys let's get a little call to lap in like quick let's go we're gonna bump break by us down we're gonna go with a 62 62 we're gonna run a 12 1 on the on the cost on the qualifying lap we're gonna run 12 1 on quality oh, are they under caution auto Oh, they're not letting them race? That's stupid. They should let them keep racing while the fireworks show is going. Steven Barnhart Jr. Thank you that like, Steven. What's up, buddy? Good seeing you, Steven. Good seeing you. Yeah, I know. They should have let them just keep racing. That would have been sick. Wow, Kevin. Wow. <laughs> Brody, thank you, brother. Appreciate it, Brody. Hope you're doing good, Bubba. I'm going to post it on Facebook later. Ah, I got you, Otto. Got you, Kevin Otto. Good deal. I bet it is. 
I bet it is. Still not in the top. I'll probably be in the top 10. Hopefully, I'm ninth. Hopefully, we start in the top 10 with the number 16 car. So, we're with some pretty good guys. With some pretty good guys for show show. For show show. Lexus GTD car is sexy. It is. I've seen it. I seen that Lexus car. It is sick. John Billingsley, thank you for the light. John, what's up, buddy? They usually let them roll, run while they go off. Dude, that's so sick for them to do that. That really is. If I racer would let us do that, that would be epic. Absolutely epic. And y'all see how those cars in the 24 hour, you see how they have those different color lights and they're really bright on top of them? You didn't see that either in our 24 hour. You didn't see that in our 24 hour. Yeah, it is cool, Kevin. It is really cool for them to do that. Maybe one day I'll be able to get my setup going. Dude, Robert, I hope you do, man. You'll love it, Robert. You'll absolutely rub it. Absolutely rub it. It says the coverage has concluded. Where do I find it now? Where's the race at now, guys? USA Network? Is it on USA Network now? Yeah, let me see if I can find it. Part three? Oh, Peacock? Never mind, I see it. I got it. I got it. Never mind, sorry. Yep, I got it. Yeah, I'm hoping I don't stay up all night. So tomorrow, I won't be streaming tomorrow. I will be at the, uh, we've got a Christmas awards party. We did our awards party late this year, so I got to go to Charlotte tomorrow. Got it, man. Thank you, buddy. Good luck, baby. Bing. Hopefully, we can just finish this race. That's all I want to do. Finish this race. the drive to Charlotte. I aired it's about an hour and a half. Take me about an hour and a half, hour 45. It ain't too bad. I'll be staying the night up there though. I'll be up there tomorrow night. I'm going to watch the uh, championship games up there and go to the awards party. Steven Baldwin in this race? Oh, Steven.
Unfortunately, I'm not. Unfortunately, I'm not. <laughs> She's been giving me hell, trust me. She's been giving me hell. It's been a trip. I'm stunned shades, Robert. Let's go. I'm stunned shades, baby. I mean, I'm going high at the start, but so you just pass low. Here we go! See if we can get the old I Nation Chevrolet a good finish. See if we can get the old I Nation Chevy a good finish. I swear to God, dude. I swear to God! Yeah, I was right on the bottom, and I didn't even get an extra map, but I assumed it was net code because he went flying right. Yeah, you mean, like, you were tight, and you you guys connected, but it shouldn't have sent him like that. That was very odd. Yeah, we were three wide there, too. I had nowhere to go, so try to do it good. Oh yeah, I'm not blaming you, but it was pretty wide, but you're saying that that should not have, the, 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 what happened there should not have happened. Oh yeah, for sure, buddy. About tired of the net code. <laughs> I guess so. I guess so. It just sucks. Come in this race just to try to run it, have a good time, and get screwed over. Whoever the number 17 is. Whoever the number 17 car is. Die, right, let's go. We're good. Let's go. We're good. We're going to make a comeback. Y'all best believe that. Y'all best believe that. Y'all already know the deal. Y'all already know the deal. Let's go. I'm tired of getting wrecked out and everything after all that. I know, dude. Like, that should not have happened. That guy is just... He just decided to take us all... Decided to take us all three wide. And he, he drifted up on the track. I guarantee you he drifted up off the apron. He tried to go on the apron underneath me. And I held my, I held my ground. And he came up into me. A little distracted by the game right now. Should be good. We shouldn't have much. Shouldn't no, have much damage. Man, I'm from Tennessee, so. We're parking. I'm in that, so but went to school up in Knoxville. No, oh, I'm I'm fucking from Tennessee, so. Well, 
was that guy doing? What an idiot. Nah, Ricky, this is New Hampshire, brother. This is New Hampshire. Then I'm getting held up. John Billingsley, thanks for that light, John. Reset the light, John. Send it, 22. Anything. This is New Hampshire. Good old New Hampshire. Let's run our laps. We're good. Let's go. Run our line. Do you need all shut down the third? No. What the hell was that? He got loose. No caution? No. Yeah, I know the trucks are shipped down the road. I did too, Matt! Man, I ain't a fan, buddy. I am not a fan of this track. Let's go. We got to go, though. We got to try to make something. We got to get at least 16th or better. Yes, sir, Jeff. Done it. What's up, Jeff? No speed here. I don't know what the deal is with this place. Got a run there with that little arc right there. Got a little run. Number 17 equals Dirty Joker. <laughs> That's right, baby. I got to let it arc a little bit better. The truck's better here now. I want to blame the damage, but it's not the damage. It always 
takes me a ton of laps to get used to this place. This is the one track I can never get used to. Where's the caution? Where's the caution? Y'all start doing a caution dance. Start doing a caution dance. Caution. Give me thy caution. Well, they get super loose right here. This guy's about to wreck in front of us. Yeah, I've always sucked here. This has always been like my worst track. Oh, he pushed me up. Down there. Oh, God. Thank God we got him. We passed him. We passed him. We got past him. We got past him. We'll bump this brake bias back. I swear the best person I ever see run this track was old Kevin McCann. I don't know if any of y'all remember that race against TDR, but Kevin McCann like lapped the whole field. It was crazy. It does suck, Otto. I know it. I'm ready for some Daytona, man, with all the new draft packages. I'm ready for Daytona to come around. I can't wait. I cannot wait for Daytona to come around, brother. Thank you for liking, sharing, Mike. What's up, baby? I have it. 
tried a new package yet? Otto! Otto, you're gonna get instant chub, brother! It's just like the old days, just about. It's almost like the old days. Almost like the old days, brother. It's back, baby. It's back. I'll take it. I need to get out of official period. <laughs> I hear y'all now, Jeff. Nice! Kevin Johnson, think about like Kevin. What's going on, Kevin? How you doing, Bubba? Good seeing you, Kevin. Good seeing you, brother. Good seeing you. I was trying that earlier, Blake, but these guys are all over the track. They just cut that line off. Timbo slice of the house. What's up, Timbo? Slice gaming room in the house. Everybody give him a like, give him a follow. Appreciate it, Timbo. Hope you had a good day, Bubba. What's cooking, Bookin? What's cooking, baby? Out of home, my John Smith. What's up, John? Appreciate it, John. Hope y'all doing good. Good seeing you, buddy. Timbo with the 100 stars. Thank you, Timbo. Yeah, I'm trying, Brandon. I think when I got spun out, Blake, I think uh, tires got flat spotted. I'm pretty sure. Flashlight in the house. What's up, Flashlight? Yeah, yeah, I can't pass them on the inside. I'm burning it up. 
burn it up. Nah, Jab, this is a race. We got spun out early. Now we've been back here battling. Just try to finish. Get in the top. Carlson's out, baby. Let's go. Carlson's out. Let's go. Oh, boy. We needed that. We needed that. Yeah, we're back here like 20 something. Because we got wrecked early. People don't know how to raid. Boy, that was a good battle there. Let's go, fill her up, baby. Fill her up. Let's go. Fill this bad boy up, chat. I mean, no, fill it up. No, we're taking tires. Taking tires. Oh, pit lane's closed. Pit lane's closed. Dude, I am the world's worst at New Hampshire. I'm telling you, I suck here, dude. Yeah, I hear you on that, Blake. <laughs> Definitely not one of my best tracks. Definitely, this is like one of my bottom tracks, dude. Now you put me in an SK or a tour mod here, those are fun. I love those. Never mind, I'm worse, <laughs> Would y'all stay to the right of Pit Road? My God. Sixty-eight, eighty-five. I blew two right fronts there in the lead race. <laughs> no, Kevin, no. Sorry about that thirteen. I don't know why you're that low on chemistry, though. So I think that damage is hurting us. We got 32 oh, no. seconds of damage. I, I think that's hurting us. I'm pretty sure that's hurting us, that damage. I ran here last night, got caught up in a pile up. Wow, the game is Dang, John. No, bro. Wow. No, John. Oh, one Wait, of the fast guys has to drop to the back. I guess I accidentally merged into the racetrack. Oh, uh, so it gave you black flag for unsafe exit? Yep. I was typing and wasn't paying attention. Gosh, I hate this narrow pit exit. Right. Yeah, they definitely do. They, they definitely do. We should have probably got that damage fixed, but let's go. I drove We're at 15th, though. I'm trying to go. I'm to go trying to go. Back. About five laps to go. That sucks. Trying to get it. Yeah, you, you passed me like it was nothing when I was up in third. I don't know what kind of line you were running, but I need to figure that out. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. I got a pizza fish before I open up, boy Blake. Like the flat part of the racetrack off the corner. How do you do that? I always spin out first lap. Just wait on throttle. <laughs> Sprint better, I'm right out. Yeah. yeah. Bad, I think he's oh, he's right in front of me. He got a bigger exit. He is, Jeremy. Let's get it, Jeremy. <laughs> I knew it was faster. I just wasn't sure how it did on the next tire. You wear the right rear a little bit more because you get loose going with the bumps over in the exit too. But yeah, I'm the only person that runs that line, and nobody runs that. And I personally, I thought like that's the best way around this racetrack. Yeah, I kind of brake low, and once I'm in the second lane, I stop braking and let it trail up to the third, and that's when I get on the gas and get it turned down. Like not up and easy, I rate points. I feel you, Jeff. We definitely need to start doing that.
do that on me, that's on me. I, I tried to hold that line to be wide. Galson's out! Is there any green white checkers in the next minute? Any green white checkers? Yeah, I shouldn't even be in that there. I was trying to hold it. That was fun that we wanted to. I was really trying to hold that. But... He Wait, got the guy behind us that dive bombed us something? first lap. Yeah, the guy that dive bombed us on the first lap. Yeah, back. I did too. Ah, uh, okay. That's right, John. Honestly, not a bad bet. Let's go, John. Let's go, John. Actually, he'll turn in a little bit better. I mean, with only one more restart left, you're guaranteed a top five. I thought so. I did too, Jim. Or Joseph, I did too. I thought he was going to get me. Nah, Jeff, this is B-Class Xfinity. Xfinity races. Yeah, top five is not guaranteed. Uh, Alan, I'm not That's sure. I, I don't know how to paint cars on NASCAR Heat 5. Honestly. I know I'm not coming Hopefully there'll be a nice big wreck. Nice big wreck up front. We gained about 10, by 10 spots. That poor cone. I thought I racing up put a dang pick your lane on here. <laughs> I think I racing is using the uh, easy anti cheat now. Yeah, I know it's that too. Not a bad. When I saw that, then you can have some bad down right at 2020. How come I don't see B class for this car? Jeff, this is, this is the Xfinity cars, B class. My problem during that green flag is my pedals aren't connected to anything, so it's right on the floor. It was dragged away from me. I got mine jammed up against the corner of the wall. My desk is too big to get to the wall, and plus I'm, a, I'm short, so I don't have long legs. something here, Bubba. We're going to have to do something here. Nah, just you everywhere, Bubba. Let's go, Fleshlight.
Racket, 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 racket. There we go, there we go. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Great. Let's go, baby. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. Eleven. Let's go. Blake, the Coliseum is definitely good for that. No, we totally missed that rank. Let's go. We totally, me and Blake both, I think Blake missed it, or Brett missed it too. You dang right, Blake. Let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Let's go. We gotta watch that. We gotta watch that. That was awesome. Brought home a P11. Brought home P11. Holy cow, dude. I can't believe that happened. I'm saying really low. Dennis, thank the light, buddy. Two thirds of the way up the track when you just decided to come right up off of two and drill me. Let's see what okay. happened. Let's see what happened. Look at that cockpit version again. That was crazy. That camp Tim, let's go. They started spinning in turn two, and I was like, where we go? Here it goes. I said, screw it, let's go. I mean, you did have to go up. I mean, I watched the replay, and it looked like 9 got to 13, then 13 got to me, took me out. I got into him, but he had room to go up. I had a slow car in front of me. Wrecking, wrecking, move it, move it. And then these guys on the inside, watch this, boom. <laughs> you got a full lane and a half. Watch the guys on the inside right here. Watch this guy. This is inside of me. <laughs> Jerk the wheel all the way to the right. Because yes, sir. I drive like the more. Okay. Justin, you already left the trap, brother. Why'd you already leave, brother? Oh, you at the hotel now? Let's go back. I gotta see I what happened in the first lap. Right turned, I had a jerker to the right to keep it from. I gotta see uh, what I happened on that first lap. Front of me, and then it just wouldn't turn anymore. Yeah, let's go back and see what happened at the beginning. Let's back it up a little bit so we can see it. How's it going, man? My tour, my, my four month old was all fussy during the drive. I'm gonna put the stream on the phone. She's a little screen and stuff. Yeah! <laughs> Let's go, Dennis. That's awesome, Dennis. That's awesome, brother. Seriously. So watch this. He was all over my keister, dude. He was all over my keister coming off the back stretch. Oh wow. Oh wow. Did y'all see that? Watch what happens to me, dude. This is some this is I racing. Y'all have got to fix this, guys. I racing has got to fix this, dude. Watch this. This was on the first lap. <laughs> I know, bro. That's crazy, right? We didn't even touch, man. We could have fit. We would have had a good finish. We got a good finish anyway. It literally kicked me. Hey, I got to record this. Hold on. I got to record this. So bad, dude. So bad. Yeah, we got to record this. Hold up. Let me record it. Let me record it, chat.
Invisible Sausage. Like, come on, bro. That was the Invisible Sausage card, bro. It really does, Ricky. It really does. Here, let me, uh... Let me catch a quick pick of our car right quick. Let me get a quick pick of us, boys. Oh, no, dude. We didn't even touch, Joseph. Didn't even touch. Oh, no. Hold on. I want to get a picture of that. We got to have a first-time pick in the new paint. Net code to the max, Mike. That was insane, bro. That was insane, brother. Yeah, y'all give me one second. That's what it looked like when you hit the turtle shells. It does, though. Yeah, Lonnie. Yeah, Lonnie. Oh, uh, Jeff, no, sorry. This was the actual official race. This was the official race. Sorry, Joker. Sorry, Joker, dude. That's the kind of pick I want. That's the pick I want, dude. All right, all right last time, last time, chat. Last time, last time, I promise. It did, dude. It took me straight up. This is going to be a great pick right here. Jeff, you don't see any official races for this car? Do you have the Class B license? You should have a Class B license, right? Definitely, Ricky. Definitely. I, mean, I kind of am, dude. That's wild. That's wild. We still gained. We gained off that race, so I'll take it. We definitely gained something off of that one. Let's go. Jeff, they're at nine. They're always at the top of the hour. They're always at the top of the hour. Yeah, Xfinity. It's NASCAR iRacing Class, Xfinity, New Hampshire. The next one's at 11 p.m. Eastern. 11, 11 p.m. Eastern, Jeff. All right, guys. Hey, we're done. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for watching the uh, the paint video tonight. Much love to all of you. I got to get off here and get ready for Charlotte tomorrow. I'll be in Charlotte tomorrow. We won't be streaming. I might come live from Charlotte. Let's catch quick prayer right quick and get out of here. Dearly, Father God, we're so thankful for this day that you've given us. So grateful for everything you do in our lives. Just so thankful to be able to do this day in and day out and, and be with these people all the time. I'm just so grateful for them. Bless them all out there tenfold in their lives, their families, their jobs. Take care of us. Help us speak spot positive vibes in our lives to reach our goals and our dreams in your name. And thank God for our racing, baby. Amen and amen. Chat, y'all be good. We'll catch you guys Monday night. Much love to you guys. Anytime, Lonnie, Jeff, Ricky. See you guys later, man. Y'all stay safe, baby. Yes, sir.